para This is the tasting menu. This is the so they have three menus here that you can pick. They have uh, two possible tasting menus and they have one menu a la carte. I think we're going to do the a la carte today just because we've been doing so many tasting menus and there's so much food on the tasting yeah. menus and we can only eat so yeah. much. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go first. Okay, you go so first. I'm going to have the oyster. oyster. Okay. And then create white too. I will start with the tomato salad. And then for the main, I will have the tortilla. Do you have uh, any cava by the glass? Yeah. I would like a glass of cava. Me too, same Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. So good. I'm obsessed with their bread. I don't know what it is. For some reason, they can't make decent bread in the U.S., but here in Spain, the bread is amazing. And although they'll almost always charge you extra to serve bread, it's always worth it. We got a glass of cava. We're celebrating Young's birthday. She's 21 Happy today. Happy birthday to me. We have, this is like a, a foam of some kind. He said these are croquettes and they're meant to be eaten in one bite. Oh, it's warm. Liquid inside. Mm. Ham croquette? Mm -mm. Mm. No, he said cheese croquette. Mm. And this is like a, a blue cheese. Mm-hmm. And it goes great with kava. Mm hmm What is this one? I don't know. But it's cold. Oh, this. Oh, look at that. There's something... Cream inside. Mm-hmm. It's almost like a potato chip. Something cream between potato chip. Mm. That uh, could be foie. It's kind of what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. It's a little smoky. Mm -hmm. Interesting tasting. Very smoky. Mm -hmm. Foie. Foie. Am I saying right? Foie. Foie. Whatever that is. Good things. I don't like it because I don't know how to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this one is good. Or you can call it foie. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sweating all This day. is like a ginger foam. It's not also foam. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is something in there. It's a the gelatin at the bottom. Mm. Ginger flavor, I think. Not strong ginger, but light mm. ginger. Oh, it tastes really good. Mm. This is citrus. Your mouth. Citrus and ginger. Mm. It's a nice counterpoint after trying the foie. Mm -hmm. The foie is smoky and smooth. This is sweet and spicy mm -hmm. and cold. Yeah, nice. Very good. Thank you. Oh, that's my oyster. Yes. El tomate para el señor. Oh, very nice. Oh, Thank you. Oh, that is pretty. Look at my oyster color. is absolutely so pretty. Anytime you have an opportunity to eat tomatoes in Spain, you do it. They chop the tomatoes. But yes. What is in the top? That's probably an egg. Oh. It's a fluffy egg with a little drizzle of olive oil. And it's probably got some tuna in it because very classic Spanish tomato salad to have tuna and egg in with your tomatoes. This foam tastes like a tomato. That's because there's a lot of tomato under it. Oh, yeah. Very interesting. Really yes. There's some kind of egg in there. Yeah, like fish egg or something. Oh, that's what you wanted it? Mm. Yeah, there's a fish egg. This kind of when you 
bite in the puppy. Mm -hmm. mm. Good. Tomato salad boba. Exactly. So it's probably tuna eggs. That's why you wanted it? Because mm. you don't like the fish. No. But I like the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. and I like the, the foam. Okay, so my oyster. I don't know what that is. Beautiful color. Liquid. Mmm. I don't know what it's tasting. It's cold. This really sweet, sour. But very good. Melon. Melon, Melon citrus. Melon, yeah, right. Mm. Ice. Ice. One oyster. Cut it for three pieces. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure. To the restaurant, I can hold my plate like this. But I tell you, this is just so umami. Oh my god. It's a different level of oyster. Wow. See, I really like this. Mm. Wow. Mm. You want six more, don't you? Well, you say treat is like some kind of a jewel, like, you know, like a diamond. Here. So, so, so good. Wow. The bad part is only one oyster. <clears throat> Oh, I found the tuna belly. They always have tuna belly in, oh. in tomato salad here in Spain. Oh, you're going to eat that? Or? Sure, I'll eat, I'll eat this one. There's more if oh. you want some. I'm going to want the tuna belly. Oh, are you sure it's a tuna belly? Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's tuna belly ice cream. It, it's like a, a sorbet. That's ice cream. Very interesting. Ice cream. Very mm -hmm. good ice cream, though. Mm. So the salad has eggs in it, tuna eggs, but like a melon sorbet. I think it's, um, you got to eat it with ice cream. It kind of balances out. Very good. Of course, someone ate all my ice cream, so I can't eat oh, it with the ice cream. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. That was good. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Wow. What I ordered is the potato tortilla or tortilla espanol with truffle. So this is a little bit of a variation on your traditional tortilla espanol and it comes with a sauce. Oh, the sauce is very good. It's creamy, it's a little bit sweet. Can I try it's very it? tasty, yeah. Yeah, right well, here, like this. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, wow. The... Cut into it and, no, the egg yolk oh, came egg out yolk in the middle. Yes. I know. Well, who wouldn't have known that would have happened? I know, right? Mmm. Strong tough truffle flavor. Yeah? Mm-hmm. May I taste a little bit? Yes. What's inside? Is it's hollow. hollow. That was the egg yolk inside. Oh, wow. Well, the egg yolk was in there, and then when I cut it, the egg yolk came out. Okay, sweet. Let me try the fish sauce first. It's looking really uh, fine um, chives. Mixed with the sauce. Sauce is kind of a lemony sauce. It's a little tiny thing. I don't know. I think it's a mushroom. This. Oh, it's not mushroom. I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a potato taste. Mmm. 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 It's so loud. It's so good. Wow. Really like this. Fresh, tasty, clear taste. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet. Wow. The truffle in my tortilla goes very well with the cava. Mm. That's the fish. Well, you got turbo, right? This is, yeah. This is yeah. Like a the pew pew. Wow. Wow. Yeah? You like it? Yeah, it's just really good. I really like that. I was worried that they're going to bring the whole fish, but this is a good portion for me. Mm. Wow. I really like this. 
You know, for those of you who follow our channel and you may be looking a lot at what we're doing here in Spain, and you might say, well, they sure are eating at a lot of Michelin restaurants, and uh, maybe they're being too pretentious, maybe they're being too foo-foo. Mm -hmm. The reason we're doing that here, a Michelin restaurant in Spain is so much cheaper than a Michelin restaurant anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And generally, your average meal in Spain in a Michelin restaurant is going to be between 50 and 70 dollars mm -hmm. or 50 to 70 euros a person. Mm -hmm. And so that's not really expensive, especially when you compare it to Michelin restaurants elsewhere. Um, so you get really high quality, high end food, mm -hmm. something a little bit fancier than you would get. You know, mm -hmm. a meal like this in the U.S., you want to sit at a restaurant like this, you're going to pay two, three hundred dollars for the two of you. Here it's mm -hmm. probably going to cost us maybe a hundred and twenty for mm -hmm. both of us for the entire meal once it's all over with the wine, with the dessert, with everything. Um, so we get a really spectacular mm -hmm. dining experience for so much cheaper than we get elsewhere and, uh, and it's really worth it. And the food in Spain is so good and it's very creative. Uh, very interesting kind of stuff you don't get elsewhere. Yeah. So we enjoy doing it. Of course, Young's been insisting on mostly Michelin while we've been here. Okay, so let me tell you why. Okay, yeah, she's going to tell you. First of all, it's very expensive to try in the United States, paying four or $500 each meal. Michelin restaurant in Spain is not that expensive compared to the United States. And second of all, creativity of the Michelin restaurant. For me, I appreciate the creativity. I learn a lot. Every single dish, the way present, it wow me. And I never experienced. I really enjoyed it. It doesn't matter I like it or not like it. The reason probably I don't like it because I'm not used to it, but I'm willing to try something new and that wows me. Number three, as I get older, I'm a little bit worried we don't have many opportunities to come to Spain more often. Between eating uh, uh, pinchos or eating at the uh, Mission restaurant, it's not much difference because uh, we don't eat a lot. You know, who doesn't like beautiful restaurant? Um, treats you nicely and clean and who wouldn't like that? I like that. I enjoyed it. Yeah, and you know, when we eat at home, we eat very plain. Uh, we probably eat the same thing most days and it's, it's yeah. not much. Maybe a little chicken soup, maybe a little granola and, and that's <laughs> yeah. our meal for the day. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so when we come and we travel, we love to mm -hmm. come out and try some fancy foods, try mm -hmm. something different we get to show you all of the options that you could try if you travel and why yeah. it's worth traveling and eating everywhere all over the world yeah. and trying other cultures, foods. Um, you know, you're not gonna find a decent tortilla española yeah. in That's California. Amazing. I mean, I didn't never experience the cook like this. This is the first time I had a tortilla with truffle in it. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. It was really good. I mean, uh, using the truffle for the tortilla, and the shape of the form is kind of box, and when you cut it and eggs coming out, it's just, just amazing the way the chefs think. Yes. You know, just, just really amazing. I love doing that. Yeah. I will say, I still like buffets, not because I like to eat a lot at the buffet, <laughs> but I like the variety. I like yeah. having a little bit of a whole bunch of different things. So I'll go to a buffet even when Young says, why are we going? We're going to waste money. It's like, well, I'm not there to eat as much as I can. I'm there to eat as much good food as I can. Okay, we're getting, Young's getting her, dis her birthday helado. She's got chocolate. She loves chocolate. That's good. Oh, we be in. Everybody said, who's that lady who's making all the noise on her birthday? So they figured they better give her something to shut her up. So they gave her a nice dessert. And the candle goes out. Oh, that was nice. All right. All right. Oh. That is so good. It's like yeah. a burnt sugar almond, um, almost like a, a liquid flan. Really good. Probably caramelized almonds in the soup. This is so good. Young, you need to try this. This is okay. very interesting, unique. Mm -hmm. 
<gasps> Maybe with one of the crunchy almonds. They're oh, very crunchy, almond. yes. It's a flan? It's like a liquid flan. Mm. Isn't that amazing? Mm. That is amazing. That is really cool and very fragrant. Lemon. Mm -hmm. But it's got the uh, creme caramel flavor mm -hmm. on the top. It's got the almond cream underneath. And then it's got an almond ice cream. Again, she's eating all my ice cream. So <laughs> She doesn't care. It's her birthday. Let's switch it. You can have mine. <laughs> you can have mine. <laughs> we can have it is her birthday. Mm, it's so, it's so good. The mm. chocolate ice cream is very good, mm. too. That just sounded unusual. That's mm. why I ordered it. So good. It tastes so good. Actually, this is the best dessert I've ever had. Mm. It's melting your mouth. It does. Mm. And almond. Everything is the temperature, and sweetness, and nuttiness. Everything is just perfect. Very tasty. And there, ladies and gentlemen, you have it. Another gastronomic extravaganza in Spain. What are we going to do when we go back to the U.S. and have to eat normal food again and live normal home. lives and we don't get to wander through medieval cities that are a hundred years old, a thousand years old? <laughs>